Hello there, my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Scorpio, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, this deck has a mind of its own today. It just wants to shuffle, and the cards want to... They've been doing that to me today, so... Four of Swords energy. It's time for rest. It's time for you, Scorpio, to take a break from everyday life. I feel for a lot of you, you've been working really hard. There's a, a lot of exhaustion here and it's time for a break for you. And, you know, care, uh, taking care of your body. I'm getting like this temple energy coming through that is exhausted. So it's now time to focus in on your well-being and your health here, Scorpio. Okay, so we'll take a look at this card, but I do feel for some of you, it's time to really um, take a vacation, spend some time on yourself to care for yourself, okay? So that is coming through, and look at this, I got two cards that came out, so I'm just going to use these because they're meant for you. We've got the Eight of Cups, leaving things behind that no longer serve your higher purpose. Now, these can be thoughts, these can be things, this can be people. And I'm seeing some of you kind of walking away from something in your life. It could be many things, right? And I'm also getting this interesting energy of, you know, offers coming in for some of you. And you're kind of turning your back on them because they don't sound good or they're not aligned to your higher path, okay? So that energy is there and the Hierophant card. Um, now with this card, I feel that there's almost like a learning experience coming into your life here that some of you are doing something new where you're learning some sort of a skill set. And for others, this is kind of like this new experience that you're feeling around your spiritual awakening. So many different things. And I also feel for some of you that are kind of starting a new project or starting some sort of a business venture where you need to take in a lot or you need someone to hold you accountable that maybe a mentor or a coach might be necessary for some of you and this is definitely a place that you can make an investment in but i feel that um there's there's an expansion happening here with you i'm getting that feeling here with this uh hierophant card today so let me take a look at your cards here and see what my intuition is drawing in now the importance of self-care is huge some of you are exhausted some of you are feeling the aches and pains of everyday life. Some of you physically work hard labor, and this is a taking toll on your physical body. And spirit guides are really wanting you to focus in on taking care of yourself, your Scorpio, your body is very important. Your temple is very important. Without it, you can't build or you can't create, you can't live, right? So it's very important that you start focusing in on your health care and your well-being, your mental state, everything. And for some of you, you know, you've been working so hard. You have like, I'm getting some of you that, um, you know, you're kind of building your own community. You're, you've got a farm. I'm getting this farmland where you're working really hard every single day. And maybe taking breaks throughout the day through people that are around you and really you know, focusing in on your, your, your physical body and taking care of it because I'm getting like these back pains, um, body aches, headaches, exhaustions, just feeling low energy because the amount of energy you are giving outwardly towards all the things that you're doing. And that's not what life is about. That's not what we're meant to do. We're not meant to exhaust our bodies because our body, our physical temple, this physical body, this meat suit <laughs> is uh, actually meant to live a long time and we're meant to actually take care of it and not abuse it and this is what spirit guides want you to know uh, know is focus in on taking care of that uh, physical body and taking breaks some of you haven't taken a vacation and it's time and it's necessary that you do this and also really um prayer um spirituality which is coming in here as well leaning on religion and um 
meditating, prayer, all of that is coming through here as well. So some of you are going to benefit through meditation and prayer. So to incorporate this into your life here, because that's going to help ground you. That's going to help kind of regulate your energy and really bring your mind to this place of peace and calm. Because for some of you, that's what, what's required is that that calmness in your mind, because I'm seeing a lot of static energy in, in your minds, like a lot of chaos going on. So this is creating like anxiety, worry, stress, that sort of thing, depression even. And it's because there's so much going on in your mind that it's almost like taking a toll on your mental health here. So focus on yourself is huge here. Now, um, for some of you, you used to be really good at this. And I feel some of you kind of went off path here. And for others, I feel you're making a point to actually incorporate uh, your well-being into your daily lifestyle. And this is going to help you in a big way here. And I actually have to start doing this for myself because... I'm getting older, right? I'm in my mid 40s now and I have to start focusing in on my physical body. I have to start uh, changing the way I eat because what I used to eat once when I was in my 20s, I can't eat anymore. Like the bag of chips, that really daunting, daunting bag of chips that are always there. So I don't try not to go to grocery stores too much because then I grab all the garbage food that I can possibly grab. And yeah, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. So I feel for some of you, um, Going to a retreat is going to be good for you as well. Or even, um, oh my gosh, so now there's another download that's coming in here. Is this energy of a, a collective um, group workshop thing that some of you might benefit from. Maybe like a, a yoga retreat, a breathing exercise retreat. And spirit guides are bringing in the breathing exercises. So some of you need to do some breathing exercises to regain your health. Because I feel, I really feel personally that we don't breathe properly. I know for myself, I don't. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos recently on breathing exercises. So that is going to be very important for some of you. Go visit a doctor if you haven't in a long time and make sure that everything with yourself is okay. Um, vitamins are very important at this time as well. So focus in on really taking care of your health here, Scorpios. All right. Um, this, this is, uh, being around animals and around nature is going to benefit you as well here. So I don't know if any of you are uh, thinking about adopting a pet because I'm seeing some of you bringing home a puppy or a kitten or a bunny rabbit. There is like animal energy coming through here as well that is going to help you as well. Because with energy uh, from animals, it's almost like this calming energy. And for some of you, you need that calming energy. So if, if you're somebody that might benefit from having a pet, maybe consider bringing a pet into your home because not only is it going to help calm you down, but you're going to have to take care of it, meaning you're going to have to walk your dog every day. That means you get exercise, right? Sometimes those animals, those beautiful animal energies can bring the best out of us. So interesting energy coming through here for some of you Scorpios out there. I love this for you. And hey, I, I'm getting also uh, the energy of not feeling good might be coming from the eight of cups here as well because i'm seeing that some of you left a lot of things behind some of you have turned your back on people or things or situations and circumstances walking away from things that don't benefit your higher purpose so with this comes sadness comes uncomfort comes um pain and sorrow too so i feel some of you are dealing with this which is in turn kind of taking a toll on your health and spirit guides want you to kind of release that energy of pain um, through healing, okay? Through healing. Not to cold turkey it because you're meant to feel those feelings because they're rightfully there. You're rightfully feeling them. They're very valid. Process those emotions and release that, uh, that energy. Don't allow it to stick to you or to bring you down, okay? Or to define you. Now, habits and things like that have changed for some of you. I feel that um, you made a really big decision here, Scorpio. Some of you haven't made a really big decision in your life recently to kind of bring yourself and ground yourself in this place where you're really going to change your life. You're making a point to change your life and you're, you're letting go of negative habits 
and this is going to take a lot of work. Some of you are still in the process of letting go of a lot of things and really um, standing firm in that decision to do so, right? And some of you have done a great job and you're walking towards that path that you're seeing very clearly here. Now, these can sometimes linger up in our lives and kind of try to pull us back in, but that inner strength, tap into that inner strength here, Scorpio. Now, the other thing is, oh my gosh, I'm getting so many things, so I apologize if I keep just boop, 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 it, out it comes. Um, there's some offerings that are coming towards you here as well, and I feel some of you Scorpios out there are kind of like, you know what, I, I want to take this, but that's not in alignment with my values and my morals. I, I do feel there's opportunities at hand here, and some of you are kind of, paving the path and you're seeing these opportunities coming in but they're not in alignment with what you want and because of this you're turning your back on them and, and I feel you're getting a little bit of backlash from people around you as well so don't pay attention to those people Scorpio don't worry about what they think because you're in alignment whatever it is that you want is going to come to you and you don't have to take the offers that sometimes come in and what I'm getting here as well is some of you have manifested stuff into your life, manifested opportunities, blessings, right? And some of those opportunities that are coming in, it's kind of like you've thrown this big net out into the universe and the universe is bringing you a pile of things and you're kind of like, nope, 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 no. Nope. I'm going to keep waiting until the right one comes. I'm also getting some of you in the dating scene and you're kind of getting love offers coming in, but you're wanting to meet your soulmate so you're you're feeling the disconnect with some of the people that you're meeting so you're not settling and this is what spirit guides want is that you make sure that you're not settling for somebody that is not aligned to you because there's a soulmate coming in i'm getting this soulmate energy coming in so stick to what you want keep that vision in your mind of who that true partner is for you because that person is coming it's just not in this crowd of people that are with you right now which you already know scorpio all right so lots of different things going on especially those of you that are kind of shifting your health right you've got those temptations there you've got those uh bags of chips and candy and ice cream buckets there waiting to gobble up but you're kind of like nope i'm going to stand in my power i'm going to stay disciplined and really focus in on what i'm meant to do here is to really live that healthy lifestyle now people that are left behind i feel some of you are feeling tested right now around these friendships old friendships, uh, relationships, even family members, because some of you have kind of turned your back on people that have taken so much of your energy and ha have never given back to you. So some of you have come into this place where you've realized that, you know what, I'm not going to stick with these people anymore because I'm almost in a stagnant position because of them. There's like this drag down energy there. So I feel you have unleashed um, your it's like a singular power almost. <laughs> it feels really interesting. Um, but it's almost like you've taken your power back here, uh, Scorpio, and you're kind of letting relationships go as well. And I feel that it's taken a little while for you to like understand or wake up to these people and their intentions. This is what I'm getting here. So I'm seeing a lot of shedding happening here with this card. That's ultimately what's happening here, the snake energy, where you're kind of shedding that old skin and you're coming into this new place here. And it's really proving to be a, a good decision on your part because you're starting to see the light. You're starting to see all the good coming towards you. So ultimately, you're, you're, you're in alignment and you're walking down that path that you're meant to walk down. And you're receiving the signs from the universe as well. So I feel for some of you this is a journey on really uh it's a it's a self-development journey it's a journey where you're tapping into yourself spiritually and really growing from that place and and creating this uh environment this uh reality for yourself that is more aligned to you more aligned to your values and your morals and your beliefs okay 
spiritually awakening, spiritually growing. Some of you are really tapping into that energy and becoming more spiritual and more awakened. And I feel there's a learning process coming in here for some of you as well as you're embarking on taking in more knowledge and really learn, learning and delving into these different different parts of spirituality, different religions even. Um, me personally, I'm diving into the occult knowledge, into I, I want to learn about everything, every single thing, because I feel all in all, it's it's you know what I'm getting from just learning about different religions, different uh, spiritual paths is we are the ones that create. It all has to do with belief within ourselves. It all comes in with this one common message. And it's, it's cool because the Kabbalah, uh, occult, I seem to be inclined to kind of learn more. I'm more drawn to that. So I feel some of you are really tapping into spirituality on a whole new level here. And YouTube, books, all of this, you're delving right in. And I feel that you're going to kind of rise up with this knowledge here. And you're really going to start learning how to play the game of life through this. Now, the other thing is spirit guides are wanting some of you that are in business or wanting to grow and expand and you're not seeing that growth and expansion happening um, is you maybe you need to pick up a mentor or a coach to help you along the way. You can invest in yourself by picking up a coach or a mentor or learn online. And I'm getting Dan Ko, and I brought Dan Ko up a few times in my readings because I've been watching him recently, and his information is really, really good. I'm a solopreneurship, uh, solopreneur, sorry, entrepreneur. So for him, um, you know, for me to watch him makes sense to me. So, you know, find somebody that really inspires you here, Scorpio, and follow some, and maybe invest in their course even, right? that really aligns with you. There's also my husband's friend, uh, Rich, who has autonomy. That's also a really good place to, to kind of start if you're wanting to invest in yourself and learn more, is to maybe pick up a course that is aligned to you to learn more and really expand and grow in that place. All right, Richard Grove, autonomy, that's the one. Um, yeah, and I don't know. It's it's interesting because I feel some of you had a friend or someone that's come into your life that is kind of giving you a whole new experience here. Uh, I'm getting this here with the Hierophant card. Like someone's entered some of your lives, which has opened you up to a, a new way of thinking, a new religion, perhaps a new spiritual way of being. So I, I feel there's going to be a lot of enlightenment happening through this, a lot of awakenings happening. And I'm getting some of you are going to an ayahuasca retreat, like an ayahuasca setting. So good luck with that, because I feel not in a bad way. I'm not saying good luck in a sarcastic way here. I've been wanting to do that. I don't think I ever will because I'm afraid of it. I don't want to vomit and all that kind of stuff. So I'm being completely honest with you. It's just the whole visual of seeing what happens to people when they go through the process. And I don't do drugs. So I'm really afraid of those kind of things. If I were to try something, it would probably be edibles or something like that to kind of heighten my awareness. But we'll see what that journey in that area looks like for me. It's not happening anytime soon, but I do feel there's a lot of, um, for some of you, there's psychedelics involved. I don't know why that's coming in my mind. Just be careful with that. Um, but I do feel there's almost like an awakening or something coming into your life through that as well. So that is coming through. It's so interesting. So lots of things happening. And I really feel that some of you are this whole process, it is a metamorphosis happening for you, Scorpio. I do feel that you're shedding the old and you're really coming into this new place. And this new place is almost like a blank canvas. It's a beautiful place to be. And you're in this uh, mode to really create the life that you desire. That's ultimately what's going on in your life. And I feel that a lot of you are creating something absolutely beautiful. So I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you, Scorpio. This is a deck called the, Pri uh, the Priestess of Light Oracle. I love this deck. It has the most beautiful and stunning cards. The interpretations are absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to pull a card for you here. So let's see what we get. It is extremely hot in my house. I'm super uncomfortable. I got my fan on, but I'm going to grind through this, everyone. Opening heart, deep connections, and water blessings. So I do feel, yes, as you're going through this process, as you're shedding, that there's a lot of 
a good energy com coming towards you and spirit guides are really wanting you to flow with the energy that is coming into your life right now so let me read this card to you the interpretation from the guidebook all right Scorpio, the mermaid priestess of the ocean holds out a hand calling your attention to your right, the future and your many upcoming opportunities for connection. Her other hand is held over the heart center as this card portends important relationships on many levels. The first is the potential for a deeply intimate romantic love. Your soul longs to connect, so allow yourself to release any resistance and open your heart to, to trust. Scorpio and I, I felt that uh, soulmate energy there as well with the eight of cups so I do feel that some of you are going to encounter a soulmate energy um, where am I here the next is the kinship of friends and loved ones who truly resonate with your higher desires and beliefs this family of your soul brings support joy that help expand your consciousness in amazing directions, including energetic realms. The rolling waters of the sea represent the profound presence of spirit and the depth of the connections you can now make with vast spiritual world around you. These heart-to-heart -heart communications can be life-changing, so let yourself be open to receiving the powerful waves of inspiration and guidance coming your way. On a literal level, this card may speak of bodies of water in your experience and environment. You may soon find yourself traveling or over water for personal or professional reasons. Your residence or workplace may be relocating near water or you may begin a relationship with someone who's similarly situated. Remember whenever, when, remember, whenever you are near water, let yourself absorb the magic, magic of its energy and the power of its spirit. Offer prayers of thanks for the life force of water that always nurtures your earthly existence, Scorpio. So look at that. If you have a body of water anywhere near you, use that energy. And I'm going to share with you, I use my night ritual, which is I shower at night and I use water as a cleansing ritual. So when I'm showering at night, I'm cleansing the day's energies off of my body and really renewing myself. So when I go to bed at night, I'm able to kind of connect and really bring in new energy so that way I can recharge myself for the next day. So try that if you want to, but it's, it's an intention, right? So when you go into the water, you're setting an intention to really clear the old energy and bring about the new. So you're re-energizing while you're sleeping. So that is your bonus message today, Scorpio. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. So let's see what we get for you today. Number zero, I am limitless, Scorpio. If you've been seeing zeros everywhere, know that this is your confirmation that you, my friends, are limitless. Let me read this to you. There is no beginning and there is no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. Look at that. As above, so below. You are limitless, Scorpio. If this reading resonates for you today, please comment below. Hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.